Hey there, everybody. I'm Ben Mankiewicz. It is a big deal and a big payday when an author's book or story gets turned into a major motion picture. Up next, we have a Hollywood rarity, a movie where the author offered to give the filmmaker back his $10,000 advance not to turn his work into a movie. From 1947, Danny Kaye and Virginia Mayo star in The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. The film is based on a well-known and highly regarded short story by humorist, author, and artist James Thurber. In the film, Danny Kaye stars as a middle-aged man so unhappy with his real life that he creates elaborate daydream fantasies. He imagines himself in all sorts of heroic situations. He's a sea captain, a pilot, a gambler, a cowboy. It seemed like a natural fit for a movie and a natural fit for the manic energy of Danny Kaye, but there was just one little problem. The idea for the movie was based on a short story, so unless producer Sam Goldwyn wanted to make a short movie, the screenwriters had to put their heads together and come up with all sorts of new elements, new characters, new plot lines, and much to the dismay of James Thurber, new songs. There weren't any songs in the short story. There so rarely are. Anyway, Thurber hated all of those changes. Most of all, he hated Danny Kaye, and he really hated those songs. Thurber literally offered producer Sam Goldwyn the $10,000 advance Goldwyn had given Thurber not to make the movie. But Goldwyn thought he had a potential hit. He turned Thurber down, and much to Thurber's dismay, the film became one of the biggest hits of 1947. The critics liked it, the public loved it, and the man who dreamed up the idea, he couldn't stand it. From RKO in 1947, here are Danny Kaye, Virginia Mayo, and Boris Karloff in The Secret Life of Walter Mitty. Thank you.